You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Hope that y'all are prospering personally and professionally in your lives. It is almost 2020. Get your vision clear and just be happy that we are still here. So let's get this started. Reed Dollars, salute to Reed Dollars. Um, obviously, he's battling Sue Surf in a week or so on Smack Volume 5. He's got Sue Surf. Everybody's been asking, why is he getting this battle? He doesn't even deserve this. Nobody wants to see this. But Reed Dollars now has his own stance. He faced off with Sue Surf, and the face off is on the URL app, and it just dropped on YouTube. And pretty much Sue Surf controlled the face off. He pretty much said what he wanted. Dan danced circles around Reed. And this is one of the things that I said about Reed as far as the disconnect between where he started at when Battle Rap obviously first started to where it's at now is two totally different time frames. And, you know, Reed is obviously legendary for what he's done in the Philadelphia area and helping put Battle Rap on from when he did the 40 to the neck and battling in the streets and all that. But the times have changed and now, you know, things are really happening at a fast rate. And he saw in a face-off that, you know, Sue Surf kind of like danced around him. He was doing everything he wanted, saying what he wanted, even there with a plain bag of lace. Who eats a plain bag? Do you know anybody that eats a plain bag of lace? If you go to Subway or anywhere to buy a sandwich, that's the last thing you're going to get is a plain bag of lace. That's like eating spaghetti with no sauce. That's like going to Taco Bell and having no mouth, like a, a plain surf, you ate a plain bag of Lay's and basically was just talking around him. But uh, Reed Dallas had an interesting comment to say about it. He said, sorry, I'm not good at these fake face-offs. When the cameraman say cut, everybody turn friendly again, LOL. Battle rap turn to WWE. See all y'all non-believers. December 14th, basically saying that he's not with the, you know, face-offs and how they use to sell a lot of the matches, and he's just saying that he's going to see y'all December 14th. And then he went on to say, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but if you really think Surf is going to wash me, y'all smoking crack, y'all gas chest, Rex, shine, I always come out the same way I go in, the fucking general. General Reed is basically saying, y'all gas all these people, and when it's time to put it down, I'm going to show up, and I'm going to show out. Now, I got hope for Reed. I want Reed to have a good battle. Reed having a good battle does well for everybody. It does good for the sport of battle rap. It does good for the business. It does well. You don't want to see people. I know I don't want to see people show up and do what, you know, I, I, yeah, boy, from Philly did, you know, show up and then bring those kind of rounds that just make people go in and it doesn't lead for anything well. So, Sue Surf also said, I'm rooting for Reed to have a good battle. You know, he's saying he wants Reed to have a good battle. Even though, even though to most, including myself, this is a load management battle. I just made a blog the other day about how Hitman Hollis said that, you know, Sue Surf has pretty much ducked everybody that you could think of to take Reed. There's people who wanted him to battle JC, who wanted him to battle John John, wanted him to battle Cortez, wanted him to battle Mook. Man, he could have even battled Showtime SP. I'm just saying, salute to my boy Showtime SP. You will see him pretty soon, but he's working and working. You know how it goes. But uh, their people are just basically not, not really feeling it. So anyway, um, Sue Surf then went on and said, can somebody tell Reed to unblock me, please? I don't know if Reed <laughs> Reed. It's been a lot of pressure from the Twitterverse and from, you know, just everybody that's just been going in about Reed not being able to show up and be able to bring material for Sue Surf. It's, 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 I'm not the only person that said that. I mean, my man Showtime SP did say that he has Reed winning 2-1. I got Surf winning 2-0 because I don't think he's even going to have a third round, but that's neither here or there. This is... <laughs> I don't even know how I said that with it straight. Cut, don't, don't even cut, leave that in there. But um, I don't see him being serious and showing up with, he said he is, he said so, but at the same time, my man Danny said he heard Cassidy's material before he battled uh, Goods and we've we seen how that went. So people say things all the time, but that doesn't necessarily mean what you say is actually gonna happen. But I will say this, I remember when Reed battled Chess Reed actually had, he had some pretty good material versus Chess. 
And some people even gave him that win. I mean, I remember being in the building and Reed, it was not a big, it was in Black Bear, one of the buildings that they used to have. I don't even, I don't even know if this venue is even still open. But that venue probably held Mm, maybe about 125, 150 people, and I'm not talking people that's the, that's not on the diet. I'm talking about regular size folks, probably about 100 to 150 people in there. And Reed was doing his thing, so that's how you blow off steams. Like he was, he, he had some material in there. So I think Reed and Surf might be a sneaky good battle because honestly, the bar is set so high for Surf. That if Reed does anything near meet it or first of all, if this battle is debatable, if it is debatable, Sue Surf, you lost. You know, I, I need him to know that if this battle is debatable, 2 1 either way, I could give the first and third to this person or I could get you lost. That's just the way it goes because this is a load management game. You do not lose a load management game. This is a trap game. This is a Sorry to all my Giants fans, it is what it is. This is a Giants playing against the Packers last week. I thought in my head they would lose 40 to 14. They lost 38 to like 10 or 13. You're supposed to win this game is basically what I'm saying because if Reed Dollars beats Sue Surf, that kind of takes some luster off of his next alleged battle, which I heard was, I heard was beloved. It, it, you you want to go into beloved with a loss? I know Sue Surf, I know for a fact that you're not going, you're not trying to go see Beloved with no loss and no read. So, with that being said, it all comes back around to Reed Dallas. Um, he's, he, he basically said everybody's entitled to their own opinions. He respects that. At least, I mean, I can respect the fact that he does because everybody is entitled to their own opinion. I tell people all the time, this is just a small channel predicated off my personal opinion and it does not reflect the views and opinions of anybody else. Yes, people do watch this and I'm thankful that people do watch this content, you know, some faithfully and some in passing, but at the same time, it's just my personal opinion. He said, but if you think Surf is gonna wash me, y'all smoking crack, crack is whack. Even though I think Surf is gonna win, I don't smoke crack. Never, we don't, no. I don't smoke at all, but I'm just saying. Um, y'all gas, chest, wreck, shine, and I always come out the same way I go in, the fucking general. Uh, chest, debatable, Rex, clear win, shine, clear loss. So he's got a little bit of everything on the spectrum in his comeback. He's got a clear win, he's got a debatable, and he's got a fucking <coughs> loss. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know how anybody could debate the Shine battle. The Shine battle was like not even debatable. And salute to K Shine. K Shine's been back on Twitter and he has been causing an uproar. If you do not have a Twitter or if you do, go check out K Shine. K Shine has been back for about two, two, three days now and he has things in the uproar. And he said why he got off of it. He said that uh, he got off Twitter because. He didn't know how to deal with people that were talking reckless, you know what I'm saying? Like he like people that you don't know just talking reckless about you and just talking crazy to you. He was saying that, you know, it was a part of the maturity process. And I can respect him um, for letting his fans know that, you know, he it was just something that he wasn't gonna deal with. And now he's back and he's been causing some ruckus as of late. If you haven't seen, he's been talking about pretty much a whole lot of everything. If I was to start talking about everything that Kayshawn's tweeted, I'll be here for the next week. And we're not gonna do that. So with that being said, you guys let me know. What do y'all think about Reed Dollar's response? I mean, I think it's very mature. I think uh, at this rate, uh, he should really focus on the bars because like I said, when you're not, when you're not adept on your feet to what's going on and how fast this internet era moves, like Reed is from the street corner era, the battling on the block, the DVD era. And what I will say is he has done some of the better transitioning into this newer era. Not the best, not the best, but he's done some of the better transitioning into this era. And um, he has to bring some fire material. Like, I'll just say this about Reed before I get out of here and no knock on him. I just felt like in the shine battle, he had some material but like it was just way too far in between, you know what I'm saying? Like that two two three McDonald's fry. Like I I I seen my man Showtime SP trying to talk it up, but I'm like, <laughs> it was like turkey with no gravy, man. I I'm sorry. It, I mean it, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It was like turkey with no gravy, man. It's like it, it's like getting excited over a new used car, my jeez. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it, it is what it is. Like 
So he needs to get to the punch faster and he needs to show us some things that don't sound like everything else. He, I just need to see a little bit different because literally if Surf comes in there and does what he normally does and Reed does not level up just a little bit just for one night, look at Verb versus Murder Mook. Leveled up for one night. Now Verb is good. He does good in his battles. He was good versus um, Lux. But that little extra oomph, that little leveling up, J.R. Smith in the fourth quarter of Game 7 versus uh, the Golden State Warriors. Second half comes out, hit two three threes in a row, helped get Cleveland back in the game, and ultimately they won the NBA championship. I'm just saying level up a little bit, my G. But anyway, we're going to leave it like we leave it. I'm going to call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. You guys stay up, and, you know, we'll get back with some more. Read dollars. I like to see you back, my G. One.